Hello Aries. Happy New Year to you guys. I know today is the 6th and I just don't have any excuse for my absence other than the girls just got a lot of shit going on, okay? So here we go with your January reading. Aries. What's going on with Aries in this new year, 2020, you guys? Number four. I feel like this is your year. Let's see. And if you're wondering how I got the number four, of course, the two twos in 2020. April is the fourth month for a lot of you Aries. All right, so. Oh, okay. We have a tower here that fell out. There's some kind of instability that is um, happening around you guys right now. Scorpio energy, Mars energy. Maybe some of you are feeling a little um, uh, volatile. Even um, kind of, you know, feeling like you could lose your cool at any minute. I think there's something that's challenging you guys here. Okay. It's crossing my Aries. Ooh, two of cups. Well, well. Cancer energy here. I feel like there is somebody that is, um, this is cancer, of course, but there's somebody that I feel like you're you're almost like bucking against this connection um maybe some of you are not really wanting to be vulnerable with this person even but there's definitely somebody that cares for you and, and that you care for here hmm somebody that you love and if, but I'm, but I'm getting that, I think this person loves you or they're, they're way more invested than you are because I'm feeling like you guys could walk away um, at any given moment and not saying that it wouldn't affect you, but it wouldn't affect you nearly as much as it would the other person. What is the underlying issue here? Ace of Pentacles. There's there's the situation here where there's not been an opportunity to um, to start this thing off the right way. I don't know what has happened, but um, there's not a clear cut opportunity for progression or a clear cut opportunity for you guys to actually like. Um, be together and start something that could be profound. It is it, just it has not gotten off um, the way that it should in order for it to grow to the Ten of Pentacles. There, there's some sort of instability between you and this person having a brand new start. There's something going on here. Hmm. What's going on in the recent past for Aries? Queen of Cups. I feel like there's definitely somebody, a Scorpio, not Scorpio. I'm, I'm feeling like more Cancer than anything. It could definitely be somebody that is a Scorpio. But I feel like this is um, a situation that's not stable between you and this person. There's, there is not being allowed um, to grow like it like it should in order to for you guys to really have this committed relationship um, there's not been an opportunity I feel for you guys to really like step into this connection I do feel that this person has a lot of love for you I feel like you have feelings for them as well but um, I 
do you have feelings for them as well but I'm looking at this I don't think you were expecting this is the thing whatever's going on between you and this person I don't think it was expected at all um, it could definitely be somebody that has come from the past that's bringing like this instability to you but they definitely have a lot of love for you um, but I don't think that you guys have had the opportunity to really explore something uh, very deep and grounded here I don't know why my camera is looking like it's like leaning or something let me see something here that's a little better let's see if I can move that up <clears throat> Let's see. Aries crowning thoughts. Aries crowning thoughts. Six of swords. There's definitely been some hurt that you've experienced. And I feel like you just kind of want to um, let bygones be bygones and just kind of um, move on. Even if you guys have history with this person and things did not get off on the right footing before something happened you guys broke up um, I think whatever happened around that situation in the past you're just wanting to let it go you still have that um, uh, that hurt that you suffered there but I don't think you're holding on to it I think you're willing to let bygones be bygones with this person honestly um, but I do think that there's some residual uh, hurt uh, from something that happened before and I think there's some a situation that's going on now with this person that's kind of bringing up old um, hurts for you something like that Aquarius energy there what's coming in for Aries ten of swords this is feeling betrayed this is feeling like rejected this is feeling you know like you have just been stabbed in the back and it's like it's it's just too much it's been too many times and here we go again so i'm feeling like there's something very um uh what is the word something very um familiar to you that happens with you and this person that brings up a whole lot of uh you know buried hurts and buried feelings towards them gemini energy here let's see how is aries feeling about this situation eight of pentacles i think you're trying to concentrate on what you actually have going on in your own personal life aside from someone else and you're really not trying to allow um, this situation with this person to completely take over you is what I'm getting here um, there is a situation where I feel like maybe you know you guys you may stop talking to someone or you may break up with someone um, but this is the thing though if you can see you have the tower here you have the two of cups here and then you have the ten of swords here there's still a lot of love between you and someone else cancer gemini um scorpio aquarius i, I feel virgo is here um could be taurus as well but yeah, I think you're just kind of like, you know, just trying to tend to your own shit right now and trying to mind your own business and stay busy. Um, I think that you're work, you're striving towards something, some, some sort of personal endeavor right now. So whatever's going on here, um, I don't think you're, you're going to allow it to affect you like that mentally, emotionally either. <clears throat> What's influencing Aries? Okay the chariot your own success okay that's what's influencing you it's like you know what i'm not allowing anything to get in my way i have a goal i'm sticking to this goal um you know it is what it is but i'm, I'm getting that you know you do feel this um you do feel this what is this Uh, sorry guys, but you do feel this connection with this person 
but I think um, you're at this point that y your expectations are not high okay and I think you're ex well I take that back um, I feel like you guys are expecting the worst that way you cannot you know just completely be devastated and I think you're prepared to move on. You're prepared to leave this behind. If necessary, is a thing here. This is also Cancer Energy with the Chariot. Okay? I think there's someone else, too, that wants to let bygones be bygones. It's like, I'm not going to do this anymore. I want to start over. Can we start over? Can we let the past stay in the past? <clears throat> Hopes or fears for Aries. Hopes or fears for Aries. The sun, of course. You just want to be happy. Leo energy. You want to know what to do as well. Okay? And you want to be confident in your choices. In the way that you move. This is what your hope is. That you'll be able to make the right decision for yourself. And just be happy. I think, I see you moving towards that. This is your year. This is your year. Excuse me. This is your year, guys. What is the overall outcome here? for Aries. All right. Look at that. Strength. Beautiful Leo energy. Um basically taming those those negative aspects of your personality that you feel like can come out. Like I said, I felt I felt like there was like this volatile situation, something that's kind of like irritating you a little bit. And I see you like, you know, just kind of saying to yourself you know what I'm not gonna overreact I'm not going to um, put all my eggs in a basket I'm not gonna wear my heart on my sleeve I feel like you guys have this person coming towards you cancer Leo um, person that sees happiness with you and I see you guys meeting each other halfway to be honest with you I see you meeting each other halfway. Both of you want to let like the past be the past, um, letting bygones be bygones, working through things, starting over, um, being truthful with, with one, in, one another. It's what I'm seeing here. That's what I'm seeing. All right, guys. So that's what I have for you. And I'll be speaking with you guys soon. Bye.